I typically laugh at all jokes except jokes about circles. I don't see any point in them. <laughs> all right, so we're going to be talking about rotational motion basics and I just can do a very, very quick overview of just the different variables we're going to see. We're going to go into much more detail in all this stuff in other videos. But there's like a linear world and a rotational world. And once you sort of learn to do this transposition, once you learn, oh, S, for example, displacement, is actually known as something else in rotational world and so on, a lot of these equations then are just going to repeat from what you've seen with uh, accelerated motion and just with motion in general. So we're just going to learn the different variables for right now. So linear, for example, is displacement. This right here is going to be called delta theta. U, which is the initial speed, is going to be called omega i. That's going to be the angular velocity, for example. And this one right here is going to be um, omega f. So that's the final. Instead of a, we're going to write alpha. That's a Greek symbol. Alpha t is still going to be time, which is nice. Now mass is going to be i. That's the moment of inertia. Um, force is going to be tau, and I'm going to say like sort of. I mean, it's related to it. It's close. And this one here, um, momentum, is going to be called angular momentum, which is L. Um, then we've got impulse, which is a change in momentum. That means we're going to have an angular impulse as well. So this is just to get us uh, sorted out with these. This tau, for example, is called the torque. This is called the moment of inertia. And away we go. Now, if we're considering rotating objects, so something that goes around in a circle, let's just say it's rotating this way. Instead of doing angles, theta in degrees, we're going to do angles in radians, which sounds a bit weird at first if you're not used to it, okay? But one whole circle, instead of saying 360 degrees, turns out, uh, think about um, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. We'll just make r equals 1, so that in other words, it just becomes just 2 pi radians. That's the key here is that one whole circle is two pi radians. And we're going to have some equations like this in here. We're going to have, not equations, but variables. We're going to have omega, which is angular velocity, and that's going to be measured in radians per second. Uh, we've seen that before in another chapter, in another topic. And then we have angular acceleration, which is alpha, which is going to be in just radians per second squared. And just to show you this equation right here, so remember that since a, for example, in the linear world, acceleration is just a change in velocity versus time, then we have a rotational version of this. And it goes like this. Alpha, and remember, instead of a V, then we're going to say it's delta, it's going to be omega. That's going to be the angular velocity over delta T. So this is actually going to be kind of nice to know and use. But we're going to be going into more detail in other videos.